Hello everyone, welcome to the fifth episode of The Beat for the 2016 fall semester. I'm your host for today, Giovanni Alcibia Guzman, Assistant Editor of Photography. Today I'm talking politics, specifically about Donald Trump's economic policy and his previous statements of draining the so-called swamp, which means getting rid of special interest and corporate influence. In the previous primary debates, he even went as far as to admit that he had written a check for all the candidates on stage. So he's very much aware of lobbying and special interest involved in the world of politics. The irony in all of this is the fact that his economic policy involves trickle-down economics, also known as Reaganomics, which mainly involves tax breaks and subsidies for already wealthy and successful companies, and in essence is not draining the swamp at all, but continuing to fill it. In my personal opinion, it seems that he fooled his voters by pretending to be an outsider that would change the corrupt system, while at the same time being for policy which continues to serve corporate interest. So what does all of this mean for the average worker? Well, it seems that Trump's future economic policy will not be for the working class, and it will mainly benefit those who are already ahead of the game. It has been proven time and time again that trickle-down policy does not benefit the middle and working classes. A huge example of this coming from Wisconsin, in which Governor Scott Walker enacted massive tax cuts for the 1%, the result being Wisconsin's projected budget falling short. At this point, I can only hope that Trump learns from history and makes educated choices not for the people at the top, but for all Americans. This is Giovanna Sibe Guzman signing off, and thank you for listening. I think I can work with that one.